Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be going over the changes that are going to be in the Warzone Season 5 update. Season 5 is for all of Modern Warfare, but I only play Warzone, so this video is going to be specifically geared towards Warzone. To start off with, we have Stadium opening up, so it's going to be a new POI. We have a train that's going to travel around the map and be loaded with loot. We have the train station interior opening up as a change to that POI. And then we also have the exterior ascenders that will be on the edge of some buildings. These are kind of like the elevator shafts that we already have with the zip lines, but these will now be on the exteriors of the buildings and will give players new ways to push people out of camping on top of buildings. And then also just make it more convenient to play around the buildings themselves, which should be nice. Two new weapons being added are the AN-94 and the ISO SMG. Both of these weapons seem like they have potential to be pretty good, so I'm excited to get in and play with them. The SMG is unlocked at tier 15, and the AN-94 is unlocked at tier 30, I believe. Before I get into these weapons descriptions, I just want to remind you all to drop a like on the video if you find it helpful or informative, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I also stream every day on Twitch, which will be linked in the description below. The description for the ISO SMG is a precision crafted 9mm submachine gun with a rapid rate of fire, lightweight, reliable, and compact. This is designed to control the battlefield at close ranges. So this doesn't sound like it's really going to be competing with the MP5, and this gun sounds like it's going to be more similar to the Fennec SMG that we saw added last season. Um, so I expect it to be similar to the Fennec, really high fire rate, more geared towards close range, and not really going to be taking on like the MP5 or the MP7 for the more like medium range SMG. So I'm not really sure how much I'll be using this one in game, but we'll have to see how it plays out. I'm sure I'll have videos about it once we get to play with it. So make sure you subscribe for that. The AN-94, this is the weapon that I'm most excited for, says a cutting edge Russian assault rifle with a unique hyperburst feature. The initial shot of a full auto volley is followed up by instantaneous second round before significant recoil is felt. This creates a tightly grouped cluster of shots with increased damage potential. This mechanism is fed by a canton magazine and re reciprocating receiver that helps control the recoil. So basically what that means is you want to be shooting this in two shot bursts. In Black Ops 2, the AN-94 shot faster for the first two bullets and then it slowed down. It seems like the AN-94 in this game is going to have less recoil for the first two shots and then the recoil will kick in over time as you full auto. So if you're going to be fighting someone at extremely long range, getting that two shot da burst down perfectly and getting a good timing for that is going to make your gun extremely accurate and is going to make you hopefully very hard to deal with. I'm hoping that these new guns are actually somewhat usable and not just wasted space in Warzone, but we'll have to see. Like I just said, expect videos on the AN-94 once I'm able to play around with it and see what works best with it. We also have the new mode called Mini Royale. This mode is described as it condenses the craziest parts of a main battle royale mode into faster paced chunks of chaotic and constant combat. Mini Royale lowers the number of operators sent into Verdansk, but quickens the BR experience. Only the first and last five minutes of a normal BR game exist, meaning rapid deployment, constant movement, and high kill strategies are set to yield victories that are both short and sweet. So this sounds like a really high, high speed high action mode i don't know what i was trying to say there but basically just a fast-paced chaotic mode that you can play in less time than the traditional br mode but with that it also brings the challenge that it is faster paced it should be lots of fun camping seems to be one of the things that players complain about most in warzone so this should be a fun mode to hop into and it's initially available in trios uh, at the start of the season another thing i wanted to mention is that in the update patch notes it says that BR Solo's buyback, previously called BR Solo's Stimulus, is what's listed as Solo's now. So if you've never played Stimulus before, if you have enough money, you just automatically redeploy uh, once you die, if you have 4500 I believe. So I believe that's how Solo's is going to function all the time now. If you have $4,500, you redeploy for free. You don't have to go to the Gulag. I like this change a lot. It's going to make there be more players around in the game hopefully because if people have enough money they can just come back but it also makes it to where hopefully people will be camping less because having money will matter more if you have forty five hundred dollars you basically have insurance that you're going to come back but if you don't have forty five hundred dollars you need to go get forty five hundred dollars so hopefully more people are moving around doing contracts looking for kills looting and not just camping as much uh in solos Weapon inspect is also being added like we've seen in numerous games before. You basically just look at your gun 
The floor loot is being completely changed for the season, like usual. One interesting change is that the gulag is going to now have four separate sets of loot. So think of it like the initial gulag, then the fact that we had ARs and SMGs, and then recently we had the sniper gulag, and then another one, I guess. But this is going to cycle every week. So one week you might have the sniper gulag, and then the next week you'll have like the AR gulag, and then the pistol gulag. I think this is the best way to do things because it'll keep it fresh. And basically, everybody will have their chance to have what they want. If you really like the Sniper Gulag, it's going to come back. If you really like the AR Gulag, it's going to come back. If you thought the pistols were the best, it's going to come back. And yeah, it'll just keep it fresh and exciting, and I think that's really good. There really wasn't too many weapon changes in this update. Unfortunately, the Brew and the FAL, none of these weapons were nerfed. Uh, they do say that weapon changes are going to be coming at a later date. The only mentioned weapon changes really for Warzone was the increased effective damage range for all semi-auto DMR and semi-auto snipers, and then an increased effective damage range for the FR-556. I don't really think any of these changes will have that much of an impact. Maybe a DMR could become like a top-tier weapon for long range, and then you could combo that with something like a SMG, kind of like people do with the Bruin now, but I, I think the meta will stay as it is, unless the AN-94 or the ISO are just like really top-tier weapons. Also, with the recent roadmap announcement, it was shown that there is going to be a mid-season event. Um, and I think this is just going to be the announcement of the next Call of Duty. It's been heavily rumored that Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is going to be the next title. And that it's actually going to be announced in Warzone. So I think that's what the event is going to be. Like I stated in a previous video where I showed off the nukes and the bunkers. Definitely seems like a Black Ops Soviet vibe I get from those things. So I think that's going to be what's coming in the future from warzone is that we will see an event to reveal the new call of duty and then when that new call of duty comes out we'll actually see warzone being adapted to that call of duty with the weapons and setting from that cod so that's gonna be it for this video guys i hope you found it helpful i tried to go through these things as fast as i could if you did find it informative helpful any of that remember to give it a like subscribe check out my twitch i'm gonna be streaming a lot when the new season drops and also Gonna be making a lot of videos. I have a lot of video ideas and a lot of videos I want to make for the season. I'm very excited and looking forward to what season five brings and Warzone. Yeah, zone one over there, bro. There's, there's nowhere I want to be in this zone.